What's up everybody? Here again with another video. I am promoting channel that's down in the description below for a contest he is running. It is Shutters and Triggers. I've been a faithful subscriber since he had 25 subscribers and well looking to push 500 by the time you watch this. And the reason why I'm promoting it, he's got excellent quality videos. He's a photographer by trait, excellent lighting, and the content is very similar to what I have on this channel, and I think you should go check him out. So, what did he want? Well, he's giving away a couple knives, and, and he just wanted to see our current gun collection. For me, it's pretty simple. We're going to start with this. It's a River 1022. It's been safety checked. Magazine's out. Chamber's empty. Point in safe direction. So we have standard Ruger 1022, and I put a it was an NC Star rangefinder, and it's a four power. I don't recommend it, but at the same time, it's still good for. I'm not going to get rid of it. So really, any four power for a 22, I think, is fine. And just some uh, generic Walmart rings on there. Again, not the best, but I make do. And I would work with iron sights, but I have the scope on there so I can see paper targets because I'm testing ammo, seeing what works best out of this. So that's why I have that on there. And my second firearm is, again, safety check. Other than chamber, magazine is em tubes empty. I'll stick the rounds off. It is a Mossberg Maverick 88. I purchased this over the standard 500 because it's cheaper, and I purchased this over the Remington 870 because it's also cheaper. No, actually, I bought it. I bought it in all seriousness, though. Um, I like the uh, trigger safety. I know I did just actuate, actuate it, but that's where I like it having there by the trigger guard. I know some people like the thumb better. It is what it is. And I like the action over the uh, Remington. I, for some reason, my friend's Remington, every time I shoot it, we get a couple of shells that won't eject, and I like this because it's uh, dual extractors. So it's a very, uh, very fun gun to shoot, and uh, I got my dad to buy one because uh, he had a blast shooting it, and I don't know if that's the reason, but he got the same one I did, so I thought that was cool. So that's it. Easy enough. That's my gun collection. My next purchase would be a Mosin Nagant 9130, and the reason for it is it's fairly cheap, and I think that would be cool. To have, and then after that, be a Smith and Wesson M&P 9C for a concealed carry, and that's all depending on budget. Go ahead and check this gentleman out down below. Again, it's shutters and triggers. I'm running that contest, still have time to enter if you watch this when it first posts. So go check him out. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.